I don't know about you, but when I was a little boy, I was taught to pray a, pray a prayer that was hard to pray. Um, even now, I think about that prayer. Um, I understand it from a rational, intellectual standpoint. It's still not my favorite. You know that prayer just as much as I do. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. I never thought much about it as a little boy, but it's kind of scary when you're asking God to take your soul when you go to sleep. So each time the sun rises, it's a new day, a new opportunity, and a new beginning. John O'Donohue, the poet, the Irish poet, wrote this about a morning offering, about a new day, a new beginning. I bless the night that nourished my heart to, sit, to set the ghost of logging free into the flow and figure of dream that went to harvest from the dark bread for the hunger no one sees. All that is eternal in me welcomes the wonder of this day, the field of brightness it creates, offering time for each thing to arise and illuminate. I place on the altar of dawn, the quiet loyalty of breath, the tent of thought where I shelter, and all the beauty drawn to the eye. May my mind come alive today to the invisibility, invisible geography that invites me to new frontiers, to break the dead shell of yesterdays, to risk being disturbed and changed. May I have the courage today to live the life that I would love, to postpone my dream no longer, but do at last what I came here for and waste my heart on fear no more. Each day is a little Easter, a little resurrection, a reminder that God is in charge of the world and we are invited to live our day to the fullest. Have a great day, and may God bless you.